Hello everybody, I'm Aaron, the lead developer of Project Amaranth. It has been a while since I made any sort of video related to Project Amaranth, so I wanted to put something together to kind of express our thoughts about where we are in development, what we're currently working on, and our future goals. Some of the stuff that has improved since my last video include all elements now have a secondary attack, three new elements have been added to the game, which are light, ice, and metal, the main menu and the options menus have gotten great improvements. There is a new scaling system with entities such as players and enemies where they can be scaled to any size and have relative properties such as their hitboxes and movement speed. Currently, one of our biggest projects that we're really excited for is the map editor. We are really putting a lot of time and effort into this map editor to make it as great as possible for both our developers and our players. Because this map editor is going to be used by both the developers and the players, that means the players are going to have a lot of options when making these maps. The map editor allows for many things, such as the placing of blocks, any image asset in the game, any sound effects, player spawns, teleportation to other maps, creature spawning, character placement, and there likely will be a way to code your own events in the game. Once you make a map, you will be able to export it as a map file, share it with your friends, and you will be able to start a server with your own map files. So potentially, you could create entire universes with the map editor by linking maps together. Before we release on Steam Early Access near the end of summer, there are a few features we would like to complete, which include the nature region, uh, our first playable area, all four player moves, the map editor, a dialogue system, and some form of game mode, whether it be dungeon crawling or PvP. As far as our long terms go, we're wanting the world of Nona to have a total of nine regions, each one representing a different element. Also, there will be randomly generated dungeons. The dungeon will look exactly the same every time you enter, until a certain point in time. At this point, the dungeon will collapse and anybody inside will receive a penalty. One of the features that I'm really excited for is the many different game modes we're going to have. There will be plain old PvP, King of the Hill, Capture the Flag, and many others. And what's so cool about all of this is you're going to be able to use the map editor to create maps for these modes. Thank you so much for watching our video. We hope you're as excited about Project Jamaranth as we all are. If you're wanting to learn more, or to just chat with us, we're always on our Discord, link in the description.